good afternoon. Today, we have something kind of special for you guys because in our editing, we have found some extra footage. We found some lost footage. So I, this is gonna be like a, like a lost footage vlog. It's kind of exciting because like, it's from the day before Valentine's Day and Super Bowl Sunday. So we like, we do a little bit of like Valentine's Day prep. We talk a little bit about football, like not a big football fan, but like I, I talked a little tiny bit about it. And then we made some soup because this was back when I was still recovering from having my wisdom teeth out. Uh, so we had to, I was still eating like soft foods like soup and things like that. And we made some delicious, delicious soup. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. It's very interesting to me to see stuff that's like, I don't know, it was lost. We forgot about it. It was good. It was like we filmed it and then it didn't make it in anywhere. So now this is like a, like a cool little, like, I'm going to call it a hidden vlog. Ooh, hidden. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Good morning and welcome to a home vlog. Still uh, early in the morning, just woke up. My teeth feel better today than they have in the past or in the past few days, which is good. It makes me feel good about it. But like looking inside of my mouth at where the tooth, like on this side especially, this is the side that hurts the most. Looking where the tooth was, scary looking. Does not look like it's in good shape at all. I am going to the dentist, I think on Wednesday, which is in a few days from now. Then maybe they'll look at it and be like, oh, we need to do this. Or maybe they'll be like, oh, it's fine. Just it'll, it'll heal itself. Cause that's basically what, when I called them, they're like, yeah, it's normal, totally normal. The good news is it hurts less, which is good. So hopefully I'll be able to start eating normal food at some point, <laughs> cause I miss it. What are we doing over here, buddy? I'm doing a puzzle, a block puzzle. And this puzzle he hasn't quite mastered yet. So he he understands to like try to get all the purple ones, but he doesn't understand like which direction they're supposed to go. Like if he wants to do Rapunzel, he's like, oh, okay, I gotta find all the ones with purple on them. See, he knows it, but we have to do it together. Is that the purple side, buddy? Yeah. Are you sure? Which one's purple? There it is. All right, looking good, buddy. Are you putting the beads on? Yeah. What color do you have? White. White? Yeah. What's on the other one? White. Red. Oh, red, yeah? Red. He's finally big enough to wear his shirt that we got for him when we went to Mount Dora. <laughs> Remember when we did that? Yeah. I'm gonna, it's, I'll link that down below. It's still a little bit big. Yeah, it's very long, but like the sleeves are almost there. But we bought this for you when you were a little buddy. You were just a baby. And now you're a big buddy. Now you have your MBA in, in business administration. Oh no. Oh, is that a white one? I think we're gonna attempt a first here. Jackson can ride his tricycle, but he's never actually ridden it outside. So I think we're gonna give that a try right now. Like we're gonna take him outside, put his helmet on, put his shoes on, take the tricycle out there, see how he does. He's not very good at steering it, but he knows how to pedal it. So we'll see what happens. You're doing great, buddy. You know what I mean? He doesn't really know how to steer. But he's pretty good. Right, bud? Oh, you wanna hold hand because there's a car? Okay, go ahead. There you go. Look at you go. Just got back to the house and I guess there's a bat sleeping on our porch? He is. It's a little baby. Wonder if he'll stick around for a while. It'd be nice to clean up some of these bugs we got around here. So, you know how I know that we're adults? How? Because a house in our neighborhood just had an open house and we're like, let's go look. So before we bought this house, um, well actually after, right after we bought this house, there was another house that went up for sale that I was like, that is the perfect house. Right. I, I wish we had bought that house, dang. And I've constantly, every time we drive by it, I'm like, oh my house, like, oh, somebody moved into my house and now it went up for sale. And I was like, let's go look at it and just see if we made the right choice. And I think we did make the right choice. Yeah. There were things about this other house that I really enjoyed that I was like, ooh, okay, I'm gonna take inspiration from this and maybe we can try to do it in our house, but I really like our house and I think we made yeah. the right choice. I'm happy. We have a good layout. Yeah, I definitely think there are things that I would like to update, but as far as like the bones and as far as like the the big things are good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we've got energy efficient windows, we, have, we put in a brand new air conditioner, we have solar panels, like there's stuff that I would not wanna replace if we bought that house. Right. So, I'm, we're, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> Long so, story short. The other thing that has to happen today is that 
since we came back from Fort Wilderness, uh, we don't have any groceries. Well, we, we do, don't have any groceries that I can eat. Right. So I was going to say we do. We actually have a ton of groceries, but because you had an issue. So if you did, you tell them already. I said it in the live show. I okay. said it here. If you haven't seen the live show, I'm going to link it down below. We had a lot of fun. Go check it out if you're interested. If you have an hour to kill, we had so much fun. We had a lot of laughs. We loved ch like ch just chatting with you guys was made our Friday night super awesome. So um, in the live show, we talked about how you lost your clot on one of your. Like basically it's open again now on, yeah. on one of your, where your wisdom teeth spot was. Yeah. So now we need to make some more of the pureed foods. We thought that we were going to be like in the clear and be able to do regular foods now. Yeah. Um, which is why we bought all the other groceries. <laughs> so we're going to go buy the pureed stuff. I'm going to make up some soup tonight and, um, I'm hoping for only just like five more days like this. I think it's gonna be fairly easy to just make like a big batch of soup, and I know it's not gonna be very fun to just eat this soup. Right. But like, I'll eat it with you. We'll all in solidarity. We'll eat it together. Yeah, I'll I'll be pureeing it up with you. All right. So we're gonna go to the grocery store really quick. I still have to finish editing our Fort Wilderness video, but we just when we saw that that house was having an open house, we're like, we gotta go. Yeah. So let's pop over. Yeah. Um. But yeah, now we're gonna run to the store. So a while ago, we got Jackson. We call it the UFO. It's like a little car that he sits in and he can drive around and he was scared of it for the longest time and then at Christmas his cousins used it and they loved it and he saw them using it and he's like, wait a second, that looks like fun. And so now he's been playing with it. Are you putting Remy in his little cheese house? But Remy and Emil are going in their cheese. He just like drove it over here and started playing with Remy and Emil in the cheese and now he's just sitting on it. Who's that? Who is that? Hey, Emil. 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 So we just got back from the store, yeah. and I wanted to I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that we bought, but then I just put it all away. I don't know. But it was mostly stuff to make. I'm gonna make a like a loaded potato soup mm -hmm. and a vegetable soup, which I'm gonna blend. So it's gonna be like a creamy vegetable soup. I'm gonna do that tonight and tomorrow, and then uh, what else did we get? We just got some like fun little like. Um, energy like immunity boosting shots like yeah. the pressed cold pressed juice so that was cool you got some insure for oh, my yeah. health <laughs> for, so you can have something like that will fill you up in the morning yeah but yeah we spent kind of a long time at the store oh yeah it's sort of like anytime I go to the grocery store I don't know why but it like tires me out yeah I think it's just like the grocery store is so much yeah there's so many people all the third eye blind that you can handle yeah there's lots of music and Nickelback <laughs> um, but it was a pretty successful trip to the store. Yeah, here he goes. He's not very good at driving it. But he knows how to work the switches. But because he's not very good at driving it, you gotta unhook your seatbelt, buddy. That's why I have this guy. This is like the remote for it, so I can stop it and like take control of it so that he doesn't run into too many things. So Jackson's asleep, and if anybody's wondering what I've been eating for dinner, what type of thing I've been eating, this is what I'm having tonight. This is a uh, squash bisque. A butternut squash bisque with some instant potatoes mixed into it. So give it a little bit of thickness and a little bit more calories. And now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Tim, that sounds gourmet. I would eat that every day. And if you, you know what? You're right. Me too. That's no, not good. But <laughs> this is what I'm, this is where I'm at right now. My mouth does feel better towards the end of the day. It feels really good first thing in the morning. So I'm hoping that this won't be too much longer. Hoping by Wednesday. That'll be like a full seven days since, I believe it happened on Iron Gwazi when I lost the uh, the clot over top of my extraction site. So that's what I'm thinking. It'll be seven days since then. Hopefully it will have like healed enough by then that I can like get back to starting to eat normal foods again. We'll see though. We'll see how it goes. What's the first thing that you do when you wake up? Put on the Bluey record and start dancing around. Right bud? So I've never really been one to be excited for the Super Bowl, but this year I'm excited for the Super Bowl because a friend of ours uh, is having a fundraiser for their children's sports team. Ran over my toe. Uh, where we had to pick the like, it was the squares, football squares. You guys know what football squares are? Where we pick the second number of the score at the end of the first quarter, the end of halftime, the end of the third quarter, and then the final score. So we picked a bunch of them, and I'm really excited to see if like, uh, if we picked any of the correct ones. 
we'll find out today. So we just got this new floor pillow from a company called Gather. And that's basically the idea of it is something that Jackson can like jump on and sit on and stuff like that. It's going to go upstairs eventually, but right now it's just kind of hanging out here and he's jumping on it. See, I thought it was for book reading. Yeah, it can be for book reading. It's for whatever you want it to be. Oh. It's, it's anything. It's just a pillow, you know? Yeah. They said the way they describe it is it's prettier than a beanbag, but easy to maintain or something like that. I don't know. It's nice. You're just going to keep jumping on it? Let me see one. Are you going to jump and sit? Do it. Boom. So because when we were in Hawaii, we kind of like looked around the DVC section and we talked to the DVC people about joining DVC. We haven't actually joined DVC yet. We're still thinking about it, but uh, they've been calling and calling and emailing. And then today in the mail, I got like a care package from DVC and they're like, thanks for looking into DVC with us. Here's a little thing to help you towards your next vacation or something. And so we got uh, a Disney or bust luggage tag here. We got a DVC, like one of those drawstring backpacks. It says stay magical year after year, Disney vacation post. This is like one of those things that you hang on the refrigerator and you can like write notes on. And it comes with a pen and everything. And then for Jackson, some DVC stickers. You want some stickers, buddy? Want some stickers? Here, look. I thought that was kind of fun. So, you know. There you go. We well, got it. Stickers. Just, I don't know where. Showed up in the mail today. Huh, I do like the luggage tag. It's nice. The perfect spot for a Mickey <laughs> sticker right on Bumble. Which one? This morning when he woke up, I was uh -huh. like, what shirt do you want to wear? He's like, the Bumble one. The one with Bumble on it. And I was like, all right, cool. Let's put it on. Somebody's missing Christmas. Yeah. It's mommy. Man, it is such a dreary, rainy day. It just makes me not want to do anything. Like, I think we're gonna make soup tonight. So that'll be nice to have on like a rainy, dreary day like this. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna make, I just got a recipe from, I think it was called lemon and, I'll have to look at the website. I'll, I'll link it down below, but it was a, a creamy potato soup recipe. So it's got potatoes, onions, um, Dijon mustard, lemon juice, smoked paprika. The smoked paprika is supposed to give it like a, um, like it has bacon in it. This is a vegan recipe. So it's a creamy potato soup, but instead of adding cream, you add white bean, you puree up some white bean. Oh. And that's supposed to make it like super creamy and add protein. So this is gonna be really good for you because you're, this is the only meal you're having. So right. it'll be more protein, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm excited. Are you taking your pillow upstairs? Yeah. You're gonna do it all by yourself? You want to do it? Okay, okay. I, think, I think you need daddy to help you take it up the stairs though. Let's see. So while you guys are taking the pillow upstairs and hanging out upstairs for a little bit, I am going to make the soup for dinner. Yeah, okay. So. Don't tell mommy Jackson, but we're just gonna slide down the stairs on it. No, we're no, not. I started to make the, um, the soup and then I realized that we forgot the white beans, which is the thing that makes everything like creamy. So Tim said he would go and grab them and Jackson and I are just up here in the play area. What was it? Oh, your cup? No, no, the bucket. Oh, the bucket full of money. So that's the money. That's how we pay for our ice cream. Should we make some ice cream? <laughs> what kind of ice cream do you want, bud? Uh, I want that one. The strawberry? Yeah. What kind of cone do you want? Or do you want a cup? Uh, uh, that. A vanilla cone? And do you want any toppings? Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what do you want? What toppings? Uh, whipped cream and green good. Whipped cream? And spring, and that things. Oh, the, the sprinkles and whipped cream. I think you gotta pick one. Do you want whipped cream or do you want sprinkles? I want sprinkles. You want sprinkles? Okay, let's do it. We have our... Pink. I got that one. I don't know where that one is. Do you know? I'm gonna get your strawberry and we're gonna put it on our cone right here. And then I have to get our, I gotta, hold on, I gotta use this to get our sprinkles. So here's our sprinkles. How do I get these sprinkles out of here? I might just use my hands. We're family. I can, I can touch your sprinkles, right? Um, I want to do that. I need you to eat your ice cream, buddy. You you ordered it. Don't you want to eat it? How is it? Good. 
Oh yeah? Can you make one for mommy? Yeah. Okay, I would like, let's see here. I want mint chocolate chip. You see the mint chocolate chip? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, it is right there. Can you make one for mommy? But I think that I want it on a chocolate cone. Mm. Okay, can you do it? Yeah. You need my help? Oh, you got it, very good. And I think I would like um, chocolate sprinkles on mine. I think you have to use your hands, bud, I'm sorry. Chocolate sprinkles on top. <gasps> Thank you, is that one for mommy? A big one. Oh, you want, you want to do two scoops? I would also like chocolate on top. Ah. So here, we gotta take off our sprinkles. And we'll put on our chocolate. And then we'll put on, wait, wait. And, and we'll put on our chocolate sprinkles like this. And that one. And this one too? Yeah. Two ice cream cones. That Thank you. One's, and see, that one's full. This one's full, you're right. So this is a little ice cream. It's called Scoop and Serve Ice Cream. It's from Melissa and Doug. It's like a little ice cream counter. Oh, vanilla. <gasps> Oh my goodness, this looks so yummy. Thank you. I love it. You're the best ice cream maker in the whole town, buddy. This was a gift from Jackson's cousins for his birthday. No, for Christmas. It was for Christmas. So this, um, I think, was a really great gift. He loves it. If you ever see these Melissa and Doug things, which I'm sure a lot of you guys probably already know this brand, but um, these toys are fantastic. He loves them. And I feel like they're definitely worth the price, for sure. So this was another, it just kind of goes along with his kitchen. So sometimes we'll make sandwiches and then we'll have ice cream for dessert. Sometimes we'll have ice cream for breakfast. We just love making the ice cream, right? Back from the store. What kind of beans did you get? I got cannellini beans. Oh, that's right. Is it right? Yeah, I thought you said you got white kidney beans. That's what they are. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's navy beans, great northern beans. I think maybe that's, beans. I think it was the great northern beans. Baby lima beans. Oh, so Tim went to the store to get the beans, but my phone was downstairs, so I didn't know you were texting me. <laughs> what? What's going on? What do you want to do? Come on to what? You want to go in your room? Yeah, I'm in the bedroom. You want to go in the bedroom? This is like those Instagram pictures. Oh yeah. <laughs> Trying to climb out. Oh no. All right, so right now I am chopping up some onions. I am going to peel these potatoes and chop them. Um, I just did two white onions. I'm doubling up this recipe so that we can have it a couple more times this week. I have some garlic. I'm probably gonna add some more garlic because it called for four cloves of garlic and I feel like these are pretty small. So I think I'm gonna add a few more. And uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And it's gonna be fairly easy. I'm literally just cooking up the veggies and then making the broth. The broth just kind of cooks with the vegetables, so it should be fairly easy. But I'm just chopping some stuff up right now. So I've got all my potatoes chopped, I've got all my onions chopped. I've got some, I'm using my big pot because we're making double the amount of soup. Got my oil in there, adding my onions. This is like a lot of onion. I hope you're ready for that, Tim. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no, I'm, well I'm gonna blend everything up. Okay. I'm adding in my salt, and I also added in some uh, just fresh cracked pepper, and now I'm gonna cook this up for eight minutes, and then I'm gonna add pretty much everything else gets added in after that. So my beans, my broth, potatoes, lemon juice, Dijon mustard, all of it's gonna go in then. So my onions have been cooking for um, about eight minutes. Now I'm gonna add in my garlic. This is gonna cook for two minutes. That garlic has been cooking, and now we're adding in some white wine vinegar. That's gonna cook for just like 30 seconds. And then we're gonna add in the broth, the potatoes, and the white beans. That'll cook for 30 minutes. So now that everything is in the pot, or all of the major items are in the pot, we're gonna stir it up, bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna put it back down to a simmer and let it simmer for 30 minutes. And then the fun stuff happens. What's that? That's when I have to figure out how to, I need to blend the mustard and the paprika and some olive oil into it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit in my container, like this is what my immersion blender kind of goes in. I'm gonna put a little bit of the soup in here, blend up the Dijon mustard, the lemon juice, and the olive oil, and then dump that in, and then use the immersion blender in the pot. 
That should work. For the regular recipe, it wants me to only blend up half of the soup and then mash up some of the beans and the potatoes so that it still has like some chunkiness oh, to yeah. the soup. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna blend it all up so that you can eat it. Good call. Yeah. By the way, my teeth feel really good today. Do they? Yeah. Nice, why is that? I don't know. I think it's because you've been doing the- I've been irrigating. Yeah. Which is better, I guess. Yeah, good for you. Nice work. We're doing it. Also, I think it's the Super Bowl's happening right now, right? Is it? Yeah. Who's in charge of the Super Bowl? <laughs> I think it's, I think it is. Do we know if we won? All right, the soup has been simmering for about half, like about 15 minutes, about halfway done. And you can definitely tell that it has cooked down a little bit. So these flavors are just melding together. It's gonna be so delicious. I can't wait. So while that's happening, I am over here. I'm actually editing the video for today, which I don't know when you guys will have seen this video, but it was day two of our Fort Wilderness stay. Oh yeah, I wasn't there, I was at Iron Bozzy. You were there for part of it. I was there a little bit. Yeah, but we, that's when we went and played on all the playgrounds, remember buddy? You remember all the playgrounds? You spent the whole day with mommy, we had so much fun. Yeah. All right. Did you like RVing, Jackson? Yeah. Yeah? What was your favorite part about being in the RV? About camping? Jackson? <laughs> it's okay, he's... He's busy being a little engineer. Okay, so now that this is done cooking, or done simmering at least, I took some out, about a bowl's worth. I'm gonna let this cool off so that I can do the thing I was just telling you about in here. So I'm gonna let this cool off. It just needs to be a little bit cooler, but while that's happening, I'm going to use the immersion blender on this part here because like I said, we're just gonna blend it all up so Tim can eat everything. And then I'll do this part. Wow, that took literally like 30 seconds. And I could do it right in the pot. This thing is great. I'm gonna link this down below. I don't know if Tim got it from Amazon for me, um, but I love it. It's a, oh, it's a KitchenAid immersion blender and it makes life so much easier, especially during situations like this. Okay, so I put my little bit of soup in here. So now I'm going to add my lemon juice, my Dijon mustard, my olive oil, and my smoked paprika. So I pureed it up. Now I'm gonna add that back into the soup. That's like super concentrated with all of the other ingredients. Uh, and then I'm gonna add in what was left over, I'm gonna add that back in <laughs> and immersion blender that up, and then I'm gonna be totally done. What are you doing, bud? <laughs> Do you have the hiccups? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that our soup is completely pureed and done, this is what it looks like. It is very creamy, so I think that white bean little uh, hack is a good one. So I'm gonna get Tim's bowl ready so that that way it has time to kind of cool because he can't have super hot stuff yet. All right, here's a look at my bowl of soup. I put a little sour cream and a little cheese. What do you think of yours so far? Pretty good. Yeah, good soup? Yeah, good soup. All right. So we wanted to see if Jackson wanted to make a Valentine. What do you want, to, do you want to make a Valentine's Day painting? Mm. Yeah, do you have on your smock? Mm. Are you gonna get messy? You're not gonna get messy. <laughs> but that's why you have on your smock. That's exactly the point of the smock, is you don't get messy if you're wearing a smock. That's oh, funny. okay, gotcha. Okay, so my idea was we would take just his fingertips and do the grass with the green. So what do you think, can we do it? Hold your fingers out, all your fingers. Straight out, yep. Just like that, right? Now, oh, no. so, <laughs> do, 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 do. yeah, all the way across. We're making grass. Across all on the bottom. You need some more? Right here. <laughs> everywhere. It is everywhere. I'm everywhere. Good job. Ooh, nice. You wanna do it right here? <laughs> Beautiful. Blue. You wanna do the blue now? Yeah. You gonna okay. just mix them all? Okay, you do your- mix, mix, mix the blue too? Go ahead, do your, do your thing, bud. All right, do it up at the top. Do blue again, you gonna do red? Whoa, look at those colors. Whoa. What's that? Put it on the put it on the page. <laughs> it you are everywhere. everywhere. Keep putting it on your paper. That's how you wipe it off. Just wipe it off on the paper. <laughs> Let's see what you have so far. Whoa. That's nice, buddy. Good I'm job. Everywhere. Yeah, do the blue. <laughs> Green and red. Oh, red. And purple. Oh, you want to make purple, purple out of blue and, and red? Do it right here, buddy. Look, there's a big wide open space. Oh, look, you're making purple. Wow. I'm making purple. You're you making, making purple. purple. You want to wash you want your hands? Yeah. 
Okay, put your hand right there. Okay. All right, we'll wash it off. Well, you did a very beautiful picture, buddy. I love it. It is very nice. Who are you going to give it to? Uh, mommy and Daddy. Mommy and Daddy. Well, thank you. I think that's a beautiful Valentine. Thank you very much. Jackson, what's that thing you got there? A hello thing. And what does a hello thing do? Hello. You say hello into it? Hello. <laughs> like a megaphone? All right, so we are all done with dinner. That soup was delicious and surprisingly creamy for not having any cream in it. So I definitely caught a little bit of like, almost like a bacon flavor because the paprika gave it like a little like smoky, like a little, little hint. A little hint as if there were something in there. It was delicious. Like I can't wait to, we have, we have so much of it, I can't wait to eat that for the rest of the week. Gotta be really good. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed some of that like lost footage right there. Uh, I did wanna say we did win most of the Super Bowl guesses that we tried for. We missed uh, I think the, the third quarter. But we got first quarter, we got first quarter, second quarter, and fourth quarter, like final score. So we did pretty good. Like for somebody that doesn't know anything about football, I would say that was a successful like guess. Also Jackson made a beautiful painting. Like I think he really enjoys just making things with his own interpretation. Like, I don't know, I think he might end up being a little artist. He enjoys like every time that we have a pencil and he's like, I wanna draw. Or if we put paint out, he's like, yeah, this is awesome. Let's do some paint. So I don't know, we had a fantastic time and we hope you guys enjoyed it. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.